Hello and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm glad that you've joined us today. I want to take you into another rapture ready indicator that's happening uh, right now around our globe. A lot of things that are taking place and it should be showing the Christians just how close we are to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And one of those last day indicators from the very mouth and words of Jesus Christ, he said two indicators, it would be as it was in the days of Noah and in the days of Lot. This is a very important indicator because what we're seeing all around our globe and lawlessness and uh, violence that's taking place, uh, violence was huge in the time of Noah's day and it is today. Almost every movie that comes out, violence in the streets of America. Recently, a birthday party happening in Chicago. Uh, someone pulls up with an automatic weapon opens fire and kills uh, a number of people. These things are happening all around and our legislators are trying to pass another law so that somehow they can feel good about having done something. But I wanna tell you, laws are not going to stop the heart of an individual that is intent on being an example as it was in the days of Noah. That's what we're seeing right now. Japan has recently uh, created mice from two fathers, they said. And of course, we'll spare you all of the biological details of that. But the point is this, is that as it was in the days of Noah, and one of the greatest indicators, I only want to zero in here just a moment. Uh, the Bible tells us one of the indicators of the days of Noah, and it's found also in the book of Hebrews 11. You'll find out that they were, the Bible says they were eating and drinking and giving in marriage. Uh, they were acting like, and this is what the Bible indicates, they were acting like in the days of Noah that tomorrow would be here and that there was nothing to concern ourselves with, certainly not the return of the Lord or repentance before God, humbling ourselves. It was full of pride, full of arrogance. It was whatever you want to do, when you want to do it, how you want to do it, no restraints, nobody telling me what to do. And the greatest indicator is this, is that in the minds of people during the days of Noah, that God was not even in their thoughts. In fact, he says that the thoughts and the intents of the heart were only evil continually. Did you hear that? Does that sound like today? I would say that it's certainly a reading just like the headlines would today, where the thoughts of people are not on God, they're not on the word of God, they're not thinking about the imminent return of Jesus Christ, and people are not thinking about uh, whether or not they should get right and repent before God. It is, uh, don't mess with me, I'm having a good time and a good life. And this is a major indicator of the return of Jesus Christ. In spite of all of that, Noah was faithful to preach the gospel for more than 100 years. I'm wondering if people could get right with God after a preacher is preaching righteousness, the Bible says, for a hundred years. Think about it. This is important for us to understand because the depravity and the ungodly lifestyles of the world that we're in right now and in the days of Noah, the Bible says God regretted that he had made man. The only way to stop this plague at that moment in history was to redeem the righteous eight into the ark uh, that was created and built by Noah himself under the order of God. Specific plans that would be a foreshadowing of Jesus Christ himself, the ark of salvation. And then he commanded them. One of the important uh, sidelines of this particular uh, story of Noah is the fact that the Bible says that Methuselah, would die and then the judgment would come. Uh, actually, Methuselah's name means in part, when he dies, it comes. This was an indicator that Noah was to prepare for the great flood, rain that they have never seen before, rain that they mocked um, Noah for and perhaps even people helped Noah build the ark. But when the time came to get inside, they didn't heed the call. They mocked Noah and his righteous preaching. Uh, the Bible says, till the day that God shut the door. I believe, my friends, that we are very much right there on the edge of that as we're seeing the days of Noah play out in front of us. And yet, 
in this time like Noah, let us be faithful to keep preaching the gospel, winning our loved ones to the Lord, friends and neighbors that we come in contact with. Just a seed of the gospel can make the difference. And the Bible says, Paul made this clear as we close you today, that knowing the terror of the Lord, knowing the judgment of God that is going to come, we persuade men. I want to encourage you today to persuade people with Bible prophecy, the accuracy, 100% accuracy of Bible prophecy, and let them know that Jesus Christ died for them, he rose again, and is living and is coming back at any moment. That's the gospel. Till the next time we get together right here on Prophecy Files Briefing, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.